Hello Year 6, it's Miss Phillips Hughes here. This series of art lessons is called Ghost Cats, inspired by Jackie Morris's book The Snow Leopard, which you've, been, which you've started reading in your learning journey lessons. We'll be doing six art lessons together over the next four weeks. Some of the lessons will be online learning and some lessons will be in school when you return. Our can I question for art lesson one is can I draw the texture and pattern of a wildcat? In this lesson, we'll be starting by we'll start by doing some short drawing activities to warm our hands up and get us in the zone. Pause the video here to read through our lesson plan so you know what to expect and get your equipment ready. You will need pencils, sharpener, plain paper, colour pencils and coloured pens. If you don't want to do this activity alone, you can ask your brother or sister or one of your adults at home if they'd like to do the drawing with you. If you only have pencils and paper at home, that's totally fine. A pencil will work great for all the activities. The reason why we're doing these warm-up activities is to practice drawing without caring too much about needing to draw perfectly. Drawing does not need to be perfect. These activities are about having fun and giving it a go. If you think your drawings look a bit funny, that's good. Have a look at my drawings above. Do not use a rubber for these activities. Pause here to get your equipment and workspace ready. Get your first piece of paper and copy down what's on this white page onto yours. You'll be answering these questions after you've watched the short video coming up next. While you watch, have a think about how does Vashti, the main character, build her confidence in her art making. Once you've copied down everything on the, the white piece of paper, press play to hear the video. The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There! Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn. Her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted. A red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow. She discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on a bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots were quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Sign it.
The end. If you haven't finished copying down what's on this white piece of paper, do so now, and then you can start answering the questions. How did Vashti's teacher encourage Vashti to keep making art? How did Vashti encourage the little boy at the end to make art? What did Vashti say to him? And what lessons have you learned from the dot story that, you, that can boost your own confidence when doing your own art? I would love to hear what you have to say. Vashti thought she couldn't draw at the beginning of the story, but her teacher saw Vashti as an artist, even when she didn't feel like one herself. Vashti's teacher encouraged her to see her work in a different way. Artwork is neither right or wrong, it just is. We saw Vashti practicing drawing dots over and over again, and she began to experiment, and her confidence grew. From this story, I've learned that the more we practice our drawing skills, the more confident and skilled we become in our own ability, and this is true for all subjects. When doing art, it's often easy to compare our work to the person next to us, but the amazing thing about art is, is that whatever you create, it's 100% unique. No one in the history of the world has drawn what you have drawn. For the first short warm-up activity, you will have one and a half minutes. Grab your pencil and a piece of paper. We are going to be drawing this fish without taking our pencil off the paper. As you can see from my example, there are lines all over the place, but that's okay. To get from one part of the fish to the other means we will need to connect it with lines. Pause now to make sure you're sitting comfortably, and when you're ready, I'll count down and start the timer. Remember, you have one and a half minutes. Three, two, one, go. Time's up. How did you find that? Have a think about what you thought of this activity. I quite like the fact I can join everything with lines. Please label this drawing activity one. Pause and get ready for the next activity. For the second short activity, you'll have one and a half minutes again. We'll be drawing this time with our weaker hand. I write every day with my right hand. So for activity two, I'll be drawing with my left hand. This might feel a bit uncomfortable and shaky, but let's give it a go. It doesn't need to be perfect. Pause the video here if you want to and sharpen your pencil and get comfortable. And then when you're ready, press play and I will count you down. One and a half minutes on the timer. Three, two, one, go.
Time's up. Please label this drawing activity two. Drawing with my left hand always feels a bit strange, but it's a good activity to do because it strengthens our hand. What did you think about the activity? All right, on to the next one. For activity three, you will have two minutes. We will be drawing with your strong hand. What you need to do is find an object in your house. Here are some objects I recommend. A key, scissors, sunblock, perfume or a chunky bracelet. You could even use a fork, a piece of fruit or a little nail polish. It's your choice, but not much bigger than a sunblock bottle. Once you have your object, have a good look at it and then close your eyes. Feel the object with both hands. Touch all its corners. Then when you're ready, with your eyes closed, press play on the video and draw your object from memory. If you need to, you can hold it in your hand while drawing with your eyes closed. This is a real challenge. And remember, our drawings are not going to be perfect and that's really okay. Pause the video here to get yourself ready and find your object. And when you're ready, press play and we'll count down. Two minutes on the timer. Three, two, one, go. Time's up. How did you get on? Well done. Please label this drawing activity three. For activity four, you'll have one minute. We'll be drawing with our strong hand again. This time, we are allowed to take our pencil off of the paper, but we cannot look at what we are drawing. We must keep our eyes on the cat as we draw. It's going to be very tempting to look down, but try and resist. One minute on the timer, starting. Three, two, one, go.
Time's up. Please label this drawing Activity 4. I'm looking forward to seeing what your cat drawings look like. Pause the video here and get yourself ready for the next activity. For this activity, we'll be free hand drawing to some music. We will move our pencil to the music like your hand is dancing. We'll be doing the short activity twice. The first time, we will only use a pencil. And the second time, you can choose one colour pencil and one colour pen to quickly change between, depending on which you feel suits the music. Here are some examples of drawing to music that the children did in on Friday in our lesson one. So this is the first drawing activity using only pencil. It may look like lots of scribbles all over the page, but really all those lines are the pupils moving their hand to the music. When the music sped up, their hand sped up. And this is drawing activity two with a different song. Here you're changing to different colours when you feel like it. If part of the music feels pink to you, then use pink. If part of the music feels green, use green. Or if you've got some pencils or crayons at home, you can change to use those. It's up to you. Everyone, let's get ready for the first drawing to music activity, part one. So you'll have one minute on the clock. And if you want to, you can close your eyes while drawing. It will help you listen to the music closer. Three, two, one, go. Okay, how did you get on? It can be quite interesting if you've never done this activity before. Alright, get your next bit of paper and we'll move on to part two. Okay, are you ready for part two? Have you got your pencil ready, your paper ready, your coloured pens, pencils if you have them? If you don't, a pencil is just fine. So you have two minutes on the clock, starting from Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, how did you find that? I wonder if you like it as much as I do. All right, so, pencils down and we'll get ready for the next activity. Here are some brilliant drawings that the children in school created in Art Lesson 1 on Friday. First we have Kira. She's blended darker and lighter areas with her pencil. It works really well to create a textured effect. It almost looks like these stripes are 3D and you could pick them off the paper. This drawing created by Amber looks very confident. What I mean is that you're, she's pressed hard with her pencil and used the scribbling technique to create bold patterns that stand out. Both Grace and Alexa have experimented with smudging the charcoal to create shadows and depth. It works really well to create a smooth surface. Archie has also experimented with smudging pencil to create shadow and depth. Casper has practiced creating circles with all the shading examples above. He's used tick hatching effectively to draw a textured pattern which looks like fur down here. Harry has been looking very closely at the tiger stripes. He's done a good job of creating those shapes with charcoal and the rough edges of the charcoal do a good job at creating texture like the fur. Kobe has also been looking very closely at the fur pattern that he's been copying to create lovely circles similar to Vashti in the dot. He's worked hard. With Kobe's I can see colour being added next. And last but not least we have Mr Hatton who like Casper has also practiced using all the shading techniques across his image. All of the drawing activities that we've done so far are to help us feel more confident and less afraid of making mistakes because all art is neither right or wrong, good or bad, it just is. A drawing begins once you put pencil to paper. Our learning objective is can I draw the texture and pattern of a wildcat, inspired by the snow leopard in Jackie Morris's story. So for this next activity you will need to choose which wildcat fur pattern you like the most and spend some time looking at it and copying its shapes and texture as best you can. Shade in darker areas by pressing harder on your pencil and lighter areas by pressing lighter. I have also included some drawing techniques for you to try. They are above each image. Once you have chosen your fur pattern, pause the video on the image you have chosen and set a timer for 10 minutes. Work in silence or put some music on if you feel like it. If you have not finished, that's totally okay. Also, if you found you started again once or twice, please don't rub it out. Just start again and on another part of the paper because I would like to see all your work. When you have reached 10 minutes, play the video again and we will do a quick reflection activity before I tell you about what you'll be doing next art lesson. Remember to pause the video on the fur pattern you'd like to draw. Well done everyone for getting this far on your first online art lesson. I would really love to see all of your drawings. Please make sure you take a picture of all of them and upload them onto Dojo with your names on them all. For the last part of this lesson, you will write a quick reflection 
Copy onto a piece of paper what's on this screen. This reflection is called Two Stars and a Wish. The two stars are, what did I enjoy most in this lesson? Because, and which drawings am I most happy with? Because, and the wish is, which activity or skill do I need to pr continue practicing? And your reasons why, so because. Next lesson, we will continue using our shading techniques that we have practiced this lesson to draw a wildcat face. We will be looking at these three artists' work, comparing and contrasting these images. We will then spend time drawing one of these faces, faces with coloured pens, pencils, pastels, crayons that you may have at home. You do not need to have all of these materials. We will use a, book, a black square to focus on a specific area as we draw, just like this. For example, the eye, the nose, the mouth. Please send in all your drawings from this lesson. We would really love to see them. And thank you for working so hard today. Until next time, take care.